Welcome to this tutorial. We are going to talk about the screen resolution. We are on VirtualBox and you maybe have seen already the first uh, video after the installation and everything went fine. It found my resolution of my screen, but you might be not so lucky. Anyway, I should have put it in the first in one of the first videos, but that ship has sailed already. So I'm gonna show you what to do if you need to do it because I remember now that in um, installing Awesome on my SSD, so for real on bare metal, you, you need to do something. I did had to do something. So let's uh, quickly check it out or quickly slowly check it out and efficiently check it out. Super F2. We have in the auto start, I have this code in here that's just for me. Why just for me? Because, well, I suppose there are other people who have also a dual boot with 1920 pixels and 1080. And one to the left and one to the right. It's just a, a way to tell XRender, hey, there is one and there is the other. Fine, so this code is the thing I activate. I do this on my SSD, that's what I do. Because I need two uh, dual screen, otherwise I have two the same screens. I mean, no. So, how do I even know this kind of code? Well, there's a trick for that. You need to know the trick, that's it. So I'm gonna teach you the trick. Right mouse click, there is this A render application. A render application, and with this A render application, you can go to um, check out what you have. So outputs, VGA1, resolution, and here we have indeed the correct code. Now, if you're on a dual screen, these VGA1 and VGA2 image are on top of each other. So they, there's another one behind it, which is called VGA2. And what you have to do is say, this one goes to the left of that one. That's all you need to do. And if you do that, and then you say, okay, save as, and you, it's going to go into your home directory, dot screen layout, and then you just type your name, Eric, for instance, and then you just check, check it out, super shift. And then we have here, screen layout. And how do I know this long code? Oh, there it is. So, control C, go and put it inside in here. And when we are on virtual box, I could tell the system, hey, this is your code. So output is VJ1, primary mode is that, and position is such, and rotate is normal. And he knows what to do. So next time around, he'll launch that. Nothing will change, obviously, but okay. He'll read the XRender code, he'll execute the XRender code, and that's what you need to do if you have problems. If you have problems, you don't have to do anything, and everything is all right for you. All right. Yes, 